Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting? Well, not actually painting. I'm going to show you something uh, that I've been doing. So I'm working on this big canvas and I'm just sketching in this, um, this boat as part of the painting. And uh, the main part of the painting is that. So what I've been using is this, uh, this tool to do the measuring and this is actually something Clive Power made if you've uh, watched any of Clive's videos at Clive 5R he made this and sent me it because I was telling him about this painting and he was like oh I could make you something well <clears throat> if you don't have one of these tools they're, they're actually called um, uh, scaling tools because you're supposed to use the small end and then use the big end to scale up but I've been using them to measure so for instance on this part of the boat I would like measure the head say that and then when I would come to draw it on here I've got my measurement and I can do that from various points of the boat I'm struggling with this bit <laughs> it's really hard that bit is for some reason but I'm getting there, it's taken me a while just to get this bit but now I'm working on the, on this bit there I've got this guy and I'm pretty sure that's Turner I think he's painted himself in there I could be wrong but yeah, this is a Turner copy um, but the, the tip I've got for you if you haven't got a scaling tool and I've got another one that I've bought before um, a Derwent one this one you can do a bit bigger uh, yeah Derwent so if you haven't got one of those thing that I used because I didn't have one I couldn't find it actually it was in my bag <laughs> I was using a pair of scissors because of course they work just as well and it's a little bit quicker than using a ruler so with a pair of scissors could do the same sort of thing so you measure whatever you're measuring say that guy that guy there you want to know the width of his shoulders in there and then you go on to your drawing and when you're doing your drawing you can measure to see if you've got the width about right and you could do that with scissors that size or Scissors this size, wallpaper scissors, or well, I, I use them for cutting canvas, for making canvases. So it gives you another a tool for measuring, and this size you can uh, measure a lot more because it's cause you can really go for it on the measuring and measure like the mast and stuff. So scissors are great as well, and. Uh, and without those, obviously, you can use a ruler. <laughs> Whatever you can use. But yeah, that's what I've been doing at the moment. I've been using this as well. That's mainly... I've been using that to uh, measure in the master copy of it. Because I've got the uh, this canvas same again. And I've got the full painting. Well, not, not the real painting. <laughs> <laughs> a full scale photocopy type thing, a printout of it in A4 sheets that I've built on the whole thing. It's a bit of a uh, <laughs> bit of a job doing it this way, but never mind. Um, gets the job done still. And uh, I used this for the master copy, so I know where to put the horizon line, for instance, or uh, other things that are quite important. And then, like I measured that where that mast is, and things like that. And uh, and then I did the same measurement on this canvas. It just helps to get started because I find the hardest thing to do a big painting. Not that I've ever completed one this big before. I, I've uh, failed before. I just gave up. I was like. I didn't spend enough time doing this bit and this is the thing 
if you spend your time doing your chalk sketch and get everything in the right place, your next stage is a lot easier. But anyway, it's a big canvas and I'm do, doing this bit at the moment. So I need to draw in all of this and I'll be using my scaling tool to do all that on here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then also what I've done is I've got another printout here to copy uh, so I can move it closer so sometimes I need it right there so I can really see it just makes it a bit easier to have your uh, reference as close to your um, painting as possible so yeah so there we go that's how far I've got so far and I'm just going to carry on drawing the chalk sketching and hopefully it all works out so thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you another one. Bye bye for now.